everybody, Max here from Max Playground, and welcome to a Sims 2 Create a Sim video. This is a Create a Sim of the Whitmore family, uh, Brownie Points, if you know where that last name is from. Um, <laughs> uh, so it's the Whitmore family, and they are one of the founding families of my custom neighborhood that I'm currently working on, which is called Meadow Mill. Um, they are old money. Uh, they've been there for quite a while, and they have a very rich history in this neighborhood, well, to say the least. Um, they have a lot of drama, in a way, in their lives, and it's all thanks to these the handy-dandy mod called the Memory Manipulator. I will do my best to link that in the description below. If you guys aren't familiar with that mod, it basically allows you to take any memory from the game that a sim can get and you can give it to your sim um, from every expansion and you can also remove any memories or all memories from your sim's memory panel. It is very interesting and lets you create a lot of good backstories and that's kind of how I'm doing with a lot of the sims in this um, in this neighborhood uh, I want everybody to kind of have some sort of backstory or like they're all gonna kind of know each other in a weird ways um, and kind of all sort of entangled together as a, sm a lot of small towns are in all honesty so yeah um, so this is the Whitmore family as I said and they have some drama in their lives um, I don't remember what I named him, but he is a pretty successful businessman. He retired as a CEO. He owns one of the businesses in the um, in, in, in Meadow Mill. And he is, um, well, he is an illeg illegitimate love child that he has no idea about. He had an affair with his wife's old best friend, um, who is a townie, but uh, yeah, I made the teenager, and they also have two daughters who are adults. Well, one's a young adult at university, and the other one's an adult, and they don't know about their sister. Um, she's walking around the neighborhood as a teen, um, and yeah, so I have that for his kind of um, scandalous stuff, and nobody knows about it. Sorry if you heard that in the background. It was a train. You might hear a couple more bangs and stuff. But yeah. Um, anyways, so that's his scandal. Now, for his wife, um, she's kind of like a powerhouse woman. Um, she holds she holds the fort down, basically. Um, she, she Her name is Jacqueline. I remember her name. And she ends up... She discovered that her husband was cheating on her. Um, she is kind of like no bullshit, you know, she did take him back. They went to couples counseling, all that stuff. And she also has some of her own, um, not, I wouldn't say really secrets, but she does have her own, um, her own demons that she fights. We'll say that, um, I kind of imagine her to be a smoker that she doesn't like people knowing about. Um, she kind of drinks a little bit. Uh, she, she, you know, she has a sister. She does have a sister that she just met a couple years ago. Um, their father, uh, their, the father divorced her, like her, her, Jacqueline's father divorced her mother and ended up having a child that, um, whether he knows about her or not, um, the child did end up getting taken away from social services. I did make her. Um, she has, because of this mod that I have, the memory mod, she has quite a bad life. Um, she didn't ha she doesn't have very, a lot of very good memories, but, uh, you know, she messed around with the law. She got expelled from school. She had a baby as a teenager that got taken away by social services that just recently came back into her life, which is, um, another teen that's in the neighborhood. Um, she ends up, you know, uh, living with her somewhat abusive husband um, and uh, they live in a kind of a weird crappy house which I'm so excited to get up on the channel I don't know when that'll be but yeah um, so they're in the neighborhood too and it's just kind of like they don't the Jacqueline and her sister don't really have the greatest relationship because they are kind of estranged 
um, and the way that they kind of found out about each other was not really the greatest way either. So uh, there's that. Um, I will go into more. I'm thinking of doing like an overview of this neighborhood once it gets more established and I have more drama uh, in it. I'm really excited about that. But yeah, so um, that's that's the the Whitmore family. Um, I will have a creative sim of their daughters in a little bit. Um, I don't know when. I don't really do a lot of creative sim videos on the channel. Um, and the big reason why is because I haven't quite figured out how to upload Sims. I think you have to do it from Body Shop, which I don't use a whole lot, um, but I might just start using that. But uh, yeah, um, I hope that you guys are liking the fact that I'm creating content again. I'm trying to stick to it. Um, I have a lot more free time now. I'm not as busy as I was when I first two videos ago, I guess you could say, when I first started uploading again. Um, I do have uh, social media, so if you're new here and you did recently subscribe, welcome. If you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe and give the video a like. It really does mean a lot. Um, I'm trying to get back into video creation and sim stuff, so yeah. Um, and also, I do have social media down below, so if you guys are on Twitter or Facebook, feel free to give it a like. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!